So as you can see, I'm outside once again. I just want to change it up right quick. So today I just want to come on here. I want to make this video right quick. It was one day I was praying in my room. It was about a week and a half ago. And God gave me a vision. And he showed me what heaven looked like. And this is the first time I ever seen what it looked like. And it was only a glimpse of what I saw. I started seeing like all these, it was real bright. It was real, real bright. And it looked like, and it was crazy stuff I seen. And I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you what I saw. It was real bright. And I seen like, it was just like a bright light. And all of a sudden I started seeing stuff, like the images started coming to me. I seen, so I seen like this tree, and it was like this round fruit. It was almost like, um, what you call it? A cantaloupe. It looked like a cantaloupe. And I seen some dude take a bite. And then I seen, like, I seen people like, I don't know if it was angels or people. I seen people like, angels, they was like flying in the sky, stuff like that. And then I seen Jesus. He had a crown on his head. I seen all these people bowing down, worshiping him at his throne. And everybody had them all white. He had them all white. He was on his throne. His, his crown was like, it was like gold. It was sparkling. And I seen him. And all these people just bowing down, worshiping him. And it was, man, it was crazy too. Because I remember I was seeing all this stuff. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, man, I'm like, Am I really seeing this stuff, right? So then all of a sudden, I asked God, I'm like, all right. I'm like, God, I need to know. If this you, give me confirmation that you showing me this. And I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Because when I speak to him, he'll speak to me back. As soon as I asked him a question, I seen the words, Revelation 19, verse 1. And I'm like, all right, I got faith to shoot. I'm going to open the book. And I'm going to believe that this you speaking to me. That's how I know it was God himself speaking to me. Saying, after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. It say, in heaven, people in heaven, they was all worshiping God, saying, Hallelujah. They was giving them all the worship. They was giving them all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. Because he the king of kings, he the Lord of lords, he the lion of Judah. Man, let me tell you something. What I'm talking about, it was. Man, it was so many people up in there, they was all worshiping God. I seen the angels, I seen it was real bright. I seen all this stuff. And then, about, man, I say about a month, two months ago, I had this vision. It was so crazy. I, I was praying, and then I seen Jesus up in the clouds. And I, cause I was praying, I was praying warfare prayer, I was praying hard, praying hard, praying hard. All of a sudden I seen a man on a white horse. He had a sword up in the air like this. And the white horse was just galloping around in the sky. And then all of a sudden he had a red robe on. And then his eyes were on fire and he had a crown on his head. And then I seen myself next to him. And I seen in the sky behind us the words, my beloved. All of a sudden, he picked me up. Army behind him. It was, boy, well, I'm talking about, it was like filled from, from point A all the way to point C. It was like the army just filled up behind him just like this. And I, man, look, just to think about the fact that he called me his beloved. And he picked me up and he put me on the back of his horse. I don't even know how to respond to that. Because I've been asking to see Jesus for almost. A year, almost two years now. And he finally did that. He finally did it. Because I had faith he was going to do it. Because I put trust and faith in my God to sit on the throne in heaven. And I'm going to tell you this. Jesus Christ is coming back to this earth. He's coming back to the conquering king. He's coming back to this 
establish his millennial kingdom. I'm going to tell you this too. All this stuff happening in Israel, that's prophesied in the Bible. And I'm going to tell you this. Jesus is coming back to his people. And I'm trying my best to be one of his people. I'm trying my best to keep on being a son of God. I'm going to keep on trying my best to keep on being a soldier. The great God Almighty that he called me to be. I'm going to keep on being a soldier and listening to the army of the Lord Jesus Christ that he called me to be. Man, let me tell you something. I try my best every single day. I ain't better than nobody. I fall short of the glory of God every single day. I ain't better than nobody. I ain't no celebrity. I ain't no celebrity Christian. You know what I am? I ain't nothing but the dirt up on the God's feet. I'm dust. I ain't nothing compared to God. I'm worse than some of y'all watching this. I'm worse than a lot of y'all watching this. I ain't better than nobody. I don't boast in the things that I'm good at. I don't boast in my righteousness. Because I ain't self-righteous. I don't work in legalism. I don't work in religion. All I work is a relationship. Because you ain't got no religion with your mama and your daddy. You got a relationship with them. So why people, when they ask us about God, they say, oh, you being religious. Why? Oh, you, oh, you have a religion with God. Nah, I got a relationship with my father. I ain't got no religion with him. I don't work in no legalism. I don't ever try to be, in, I don't ever try to act in no self-righteous spirit. Because I understand. I'm a man. I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I'm affected with a disease called sin, but Jesus Christ is the cure. People talking about, oh, the vaccine going to protect you. No, I ain't no vaccine going to protect you. That ain't what my Bible says. Christ is the cure. Sin is the disease. Christ is the cure. I don't need no vaccine to keep me safe. All I need is Jesus. Jesus the one to keep me safe. He the conqueror. He the conqueror of any sickness. He the conqueror of any disease. He the conqueror of death, hell, and the grave. He the one that been cleansing all them lepers back when he was in the New Testament, walking around healing folk. I don't need no vaccine. All I need is Jesus to heal me. Because I got faith bigger than the mustard seed. That the God I serve is the one true living God, the one true everlasting Father. I don't serve nobody else. Bible college for God to speak to me if I'm seeking after him? Do I got to be real old to understand how to have a relationship with God? Nah. You know why? Because just because you got years on somebody don't mean you more mature than that person. Because me, I try, to, I try my best to walk in the spirit. When you walk in the spirit, God will mature you. People see people like me telling people about Jesus, preaching against legalism and religion. Religious folk and people that work in legalism, they get real mad because they don't like what I talk about. They don't like that I talk about I have a relationship with my father, not a religion. They don't like that I talk about all these things. They don't like that. People don't like the fact that God used me. But you know what? None of that matters. Because at the end of the day, He my Abba, he my Father. We cry Abba. I cry up to my Abba. 
because I need him in my life. Because he got in my footsteps, he got in my direction, he got him where I need to go. And I don't want to walk outside of his will. Because I know he got things for me, I know he got a blessing for me. And I understand that when I'm walking this walk, I can't be complaining, I can't be murmuring, I can't be doubting, I can't be having unbelief. You know why? Because when you do that, the blessings that God got for you, you start doubting. It causes to delay them blessings in your life because you ain't got belief. And what I learned is when you have belief, when you have faith, and you're doing what God say, God will speed up the process and he'll be able to give you what you want faster. Because what it's saying about it, said, he'll bless you with all the desires in your heart. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, all these things will be added unto you. That's how you got to do it. I want to be in heaven one day with Jesus walking on the beach somewhere in paradise. That's all I think about. I can't, I can't even imagine what the colors going to look like. I can't imagine what we're going to be able to do. I want to be up there with my Lord, my Savior, my Mashiach, my Messiah. That's why I go so hard. I go so hard for Jesus because I went through so much in my life. About the dirt, and he washed me with his blood, and he made me whole again. And that's why when folks they be saying, Why you be yelling when you be talking about God? Because I go hard for him, and I'm gonna keep going hard for him till the day I die. Ain't nobody finna tell me, I can't, ain't nobody finna tell me, I can't talk about God. Ain't nobody finna tell me, I can't tell folks about Jesus the way I want to. Because God using me the way he want to use me. And God using y'all the way he want to use y'all. So don't ever get discouraged if somebody try to tell you ain't got a relationship with Jesus. Because if you know that you got a relationship with Jesus deep down, and he the love of your life, and you doing everything you can to try to please him, what can somebody say to you? Can't nobody say nothing to you? That's all I got. God bless y'all.